Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy BB27 here and today I wanted to talk about why I think Brooklyn guy has become such a big problem in modern day SML. I mean, it's ridiculous how bad he's gotten over even just the last couple years. So if you don't know, obviously I think most of you guys know who Brooklyn guy is. I don't think I should have to explain that. But back in the day, he was, you know, pretty common. He's always been a common character. It's not like they've randomly made him more common. It's just they have now taken kind of what he used to be in the videos and has put it all the way up to like a thousand. Like, he's constantly in the videos. I mean, yeah, he was usually in, you know, every other video, but he was never really there for long, and he would usually just be the cop, you know, for the episode, or the doctor, whenever they needed him. Brooklyn Guy wasn't, like, that common back in, like, 2015, 16, 17, 18, but he, obviously he still did appear quite a bit. It just, you know, he was just a good character. Back in the day, he was honestly more of, like, a relief character. Like, if Jeffy was getting too annoying, or if the video started sucking, you know, Brooklyn Guy kind of actually helped the videos back then nowadays though and for the past couple years all he's been doing is hurting the videos and he's become one of the bigger problems for modern sml and i'll get into the reasons why right now all right so the first main reason why brooklyn guy has become a big problem in modern sml is because of the repetitive jokes with brooklyn guy brooklyn guy has almost no variety in jokes anymore and it's always the same shit every time he has an appearance he's usually just complaining about his wife or he's complaining about oh his job or he's just going on a random rant i mean they always do these same types of jokes with him where basically he'll go on these long tangents about whatever he's mad about usually it's jimmy butler that's one of the biggest jokes with brooklyn guy that they slam into the ground and make like a million videos about and they really need to stop doing that but this repetitive joke problem is just always consistent with brooklyn guy he's just always bitching and it get it, they kind of just use this as an excuse for film filler the yeah obviously i get it they need filler sometimes but like oh you know this also comes with them pumping out three videos a week which they don't need to be doing and i could make a whole separate video on that if you guys want me to but the three videos a week thing is a major problem and basically because of this they need filler a lot of the time just to you know help the video reach 10 minutes and brooklyn guy is perfect for that so with his repetitive jokes of him just going on and on about some random bullshit they'll just drag that thing out to 10 minutes it's it's just constantly the same types of jokes with him. Oh, he hates his parents. You know, that one doesn't even get used as much, but it's there. Or like, oh, he hates Karen. Or, oh, he's just an asshole or whatever, right? It's just the same kind of thing with Brooklyn Guy. They don't ever really try anything new with him. Even when they do put him in a new situation, it's just all about, you know, blowing money on hookers or trying to just, you know, be chill with Marvin and then he gets mad at him. Like, it's just the same thing with Brooklyn Guy. They really need to figure out a way to, you know, make new jokes and such situations for a Brooklyn guy where it isn't just like the same sort of like long tangents so moving on to my next reason why he's become a big problem all right now for the second main problem with Brooklyn guy it's the overuse of Brooklyn guy. This is another massive one. He's basically become the modern day Jeffy. So if you guys don't know what I mean by that, Jeffy back in you know his first few years, his peak years, he was being overused every single video, just spamming the shit out of Jeffy for as many views as possible. And Jeffy would basically just be in the videos for literally no reason. Like even videos that didn't revolve around him, he was always in these videos. And the same thing has happened with Brooklyn guy. See nowadays over the past couple years, Jeffy's been more of not necessarily like a side character but he's been pushed back to more of just like they use his name sometimes for views but then he's not really in the video maybe he's in there for a couple jokes and then that's it but brooklyn guy is basically the modern day jeffy where he's in every single video for absolutely no reason at all like they think brooklyn guy is the best character ever he's saving the channel but in reality all he's doing is just dragging the videos down with him it just comes in there and he bitches for like the whole thing and then that's it i mean really sometimes it makes no sense at all why Brooklyn guy is in the video. I get it, he's the cop character and the doctor and he has all these jobs, so usually he's important, but sometimes he literally just shows up to Marvin's house in the middle of a video for no reason at all and just goes on and on. Like the power outage video, for example. Why the fuck is he even in that video? He comes in there and then he starts going off into a dream and then it's a dream sequence with a stupid joke that went on way too long. He just, like, there's so many videos where you could just take out Brooklyn guy and you wouldn't really be missing much, you know? And sometimes he just, honestly, like I said earlier, he just drags the whole video down 
down with him. They need to stop overusing him every single episode. Uh, he's not that great of a character, and honestly, it's just hurting his character more and more every time you see him. They, like, I get it, it's easy for filler, but they can honestly find better ways to make filler rather than just stupid Brooklyn guys st sitting on the couch or going off into the story time animations, which actually leads me into kind of like the next problem is the story time animations. Um, I'm going to just get into this right now. Alright, so the story time animation problem is almost always tied to Brooklyn guy. Like, this is one of the ways that they, you know, kind of have him, like, you know, use as filler, is they'll just do the story time animations all the time. And some videos, literally, there's no reason for the story time animations to exist. Like, like literally, the power outage is, like, another, that's a good example, too. That video just has a random story time animation in it for no reason. They try to use these as much as possible, and it's always about Brooklyn guy being mad at somebody or you know whatever some stupid you know story from his past and it literally has nothing to do with the video half the time and it's just there for filler but it's really annoying how they keep doing it and it's the most repetitive thing ever and i feel like it also is hurting brooklyn guy's character a little bit too just because like every time you see him it's like oh dear god it's another story time animation it's one of the worst feelings ever honestly when that happens like i get it these aren't that long it's probably not that big of a problem to most people watching this but it just gets a annoying how it's almost every video at this point it's just as bad as you know just seeing brooklyn guy it's just it's all he's tied to so many bad banes and it just makes him not as good of a character as he used to be i do genuinely think brooklyn guy was a very good character back in 2015 16 17 even up to like 19 but after that you know somewhere you know as soon as logan started doing the three videos a week like 2020 2021 ballpark like, and then you know they introduced penelope like i just feel like I don't know if those things, you know, those things didn't, you know, exactly cause Brooklyn Guy to become worse, but he just kind of became worse. I feel like maybe since the Pablo drought in 2020, like, after that ended, I guess Logan just thought that, like, you know, everyone wanted to see Brooklyn Guy every single video, so he just tried to cram him into every single video he could, And but it's just been getting so bad over this last year with Logan just dumping constant videos out, three to four videos a week, like, it's just ridiculous, and he, it's to the point where it's, like, every, like, I'm not even kidding when I say every video. Video. The Pac-Man video, at first I actually didn't, you know, think Brooklyn Guy was going to be in it, and it's supposed to be a video where they introduce a new character, like, oh, it's Pac-Man, you know, and all that, but then it just turns into, like, a five, six minute Brooklyn Guy section where he's, like, yelling at the waitress, and then he goes into some other shit with the Brooklyn Guy, it's like, okay, like, that didn't need to turn into a Brooklyn Guy video, same with Shrek's Cheesecake, that's a video that was genuinely good, but unfortunately it was ruined a little bit by Brooklyn Guy, just because he was kind of venting and complaining and bitching for like a whole video and it's supposed to be about shrek you know it's not brooklyn guy's video it's shrek's video why is he in it it's stupid um and yeah it's just getting really annoying i wish they would just use him less and just stop using him for filler. I mean, if you're gonna do filler, just try different ways of doing it. Stop, you know, resorting to the animations or just the Brooklyn guy sections and, you know, just just stop. They're not that funny. He's not that exciting of a character to keep using. And honestly, I at this point, I wouldn't mind them just taking a big Brooklyn guy break, you know, because he's really getting annoying. So yeah, anyways, I'm not trying to ramble too long. Let me know what you guys think about Brooklyn guy in the comments. He's just become a worse character over time, and it's unfortunate that they won't, you know, fix any of these issues. I don't think they will, to be honest. I wish they would, um, but they're probably not going to. So, yeah, that's about it. Uh, let's wrap it up later, all that, and uh, yeah, peace out. Stay lit.